Hey y'all, so I'm back today with another tutorial on how to make your own DIY hand sanitizer. Yesterday I did a video and it was uh, kind of a two-thirds alcohol and one-third glycol. And I ended up spraying it on my hands. Yeah, it made my hands really moist and everything, but it just kind of felt sticky. So I kept looking around on the internet for a, a better idea. And I um, found uh, the recipe on the World Health Organization website. So that's the one I'm gonna show you today. Here's the problem, is that recipe makes two gallons of hand sanitizer, and I don't need two gallons of hand sanitizer. So I started doing some Spanish teacher math, and uh, it was quite funny. I eventually called my uh, colleague, Senora Becker, and had her check my math. But just to give you an example, I'm gonna show you all the ingredients, but I'm gonna show you how a Spanish teacher figured out the ratios to bring this recipe down to something more the size of what we would want um, in our household. So let me show you the ingredients first. So what you need is um, isopropyl alcohol, 99%. You need hydrogen peroxide. You need um, gly glycerol or glycerin, 100% vegetable oil glycerin. This is, you can buy a gallon of it for $2, I think, on Amazon. Uh, there is another way you can do it by using pure aloe vera. And then some optional things are essential oils and distilled water. Uh, the tools you'll need will be something to mix it in. Um, I think you need a funnel because the little bottle that you're gonna put in is pretty small. You need some measuring spoons, a one tablespoon measuring spoon and a one teaspoon measuring spoon. And then you need a measuring cup um, that goes up to eight ounces for this recipe. All right, so let me show you what the recipe on the World Health Organization uh, website was. It's 7,515 milliliters, which is about 254 uh, ounces, which is 31 cups of alcohol. 417 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, which is about 14 ounces, and 145 milliliters of glycerol or glycerin, and that's about 4.9 ounces, all right? So first, I had to convert it, so you can see I converted it to ounces from the metric, and then the next thing I did is I tried to get a ratio, and I wrote this all out and kind of explained it to Ms. Becker, and then I got the ratio between the peroxide and the glycerin, and I divided all that, step three, step four, I came up with my ounces, and I kind of did some rounding and some, um, in, inferring and then I came up with all this and um, I texted that to Miss Becker to check my math. Turns out it was a very long way to do it and but I was I was in the ballpark. I was I had a good ratio. So if um, if a student of Miss Becker watches this video, maybe she would assign you figuring out the right way to get ratios, which she did teach me, and we checked her mouth and got everything all good and stuff. But maybe she can use this video to uh, do a math lesson with you guys and and do something fun. And you'll learn how to make some hand sanitizer in the in the meantime. All right, here we go. So what we ended up with, Miss Becker and I, scaling down this. Uh, World Health Organization two gallon recipe. We are going to have uh, eight ounces of, excuse me, uh, isopropyl, 99% isopropyl alcohol. So let's get that going. And we're just gonna put that right into, I'm gonna use a mason jar because mason jars to me are the most incredible, like you can store things in it, you can mix things in it uh, and I don't know, love mason jars. All right, so there's our one cup or eight ounces of isopropyl alcohol. The next, um, here's my recipe, by the way, if you need to look at it. Shout out to Prano Print, Arnie and Terry Clot. You guys are awesome. Uh, so we're gonna use eight ounces of isopropyl alcohol. We're gonna use one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide, one teaspoon of glycerol glycerin, and then these are our optional items, three tablespoons of distilled water or boiled water, and then optional 10 to 20 drops of essential oils. Um, I use the doTERRA ones because I know that they're organic and naturally sourced and humanely um, harvested. And shout out to Senora Chu, Miss Chu. She's my doTERRA lady and it's an awesome product. All right. And you know who gave me this idea is my friend Heather because she was out of her hand sanitizer and I said, hey, I know how to make that stuff. Just give me your bottle and I'll go refill it for you. So that's what started this yesterday. Okay, so we have eight ounces of isopropyl alcohol and now we need one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide. Other than glycerin or glycerol, I think that these are all household items and 
You can get, like I said, the glycerin or the glycerol, glycerol on Amazon for, I don't know, maybe I paid a dollar for this bottle, I can't remember. And then we're just gonna use one teaspoon of the glycerol and it's all natural. This is, what, this is what keeps your hands soft. You can totally do this without glycerol. By the way, you totally can. It's just that you're gonna have dry hands, so just make sure that you moisturize afterwards, which I'm sure all of us in this COVID lockdown have been doing. So I'm gonna actually use that and moisten my hands right now because it is, if you look at any beauty products, you're gonna see glycerol or glycerin in them. Um, shampoo, lotions, everything you can think of, even your own um, hand sanitizers that you have. All right, I am going to add um, On Guard because it uh, already has a lot of protective um, natural immune defense um, oils in it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That sounds good to me. And then we're going to give it a good... Oh, I forgot. I do like to add the distilled water. Uh, it's a recommendation that was made on a... I don't know, it was on a tech website that I saw. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do two, three tablespoons of this. I looked it up, it doesn't um, ruin the potency. Two and three. And if you don't have distilled water, you can boil it, let it cool, and that will be now distilled water. And we're gonna close that and give it a shake. One of the reasons I really like to use essential oils too is because the, the scent, we're in a stressful time right now, and the scent really helps me not feel like I'm putting alcohol on my hands and always having to be so cautious and um, there's a lot of science behind um, scents and how they can help us calm. Um, might be a good science project. Look up the science of smell. All right, so we've got our, um, oh, I put that glycerin on my hands. Now I'm uh, going to have to get a cloth to help me open it. All right, there we go because it's it makes your hands very moist. All right, we're gonna have it just a, I just have a four ounce spray bottle here, but this was my friend Heather's and I just refilled that one from the batch I made yesterday. And it's a little two ouncer. And I'm gonna use my funnel and in we go. Leave a little bit, don't fill it all the way to the top because the, the little spray nozzle that you put in there, it's going to take up a little bit of room and you might overflow. So there we go. Take that off. There we go. And let's see. What I do is I actually spray my mask, my really cool mask that my friend Heather made me. When I go to the store, I spray it when I come out and it sanitizes the outside. And of course you gave me two so I can also wash these, but that's a pretty cool mask, huh? All right, well, that's how you make sand sanitizer. It's from the World Health Organization website, so it is secure. I hope that you um, find a way to make it yourself. I hope you like the video. I hope you can do some math um, and um, enjoy the, I guess the hand sanitizer.